Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of my new series titled Biblical Trivia. The premise of this series is that I want to talk to you more about little known stuff about the Bible, stuff that I find interesting. And for today's episode, I want to talk to you about the seraphim. The seraphim are heavenly hosts that basically worship and praise God, they're angels. And I find them so fascinating, guys. They're actually one of my newest obsessions in the Bible now. And, but I'm super frustrated because little, little is actually known of them. But what we do know of them, I will talk to you about. So let's begin where they first appear in the Bible. They only appear once in the entire Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 6. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 6. In the year of King Uzai died, in the year that King Uzai died, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with, taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. And yeah, that's the last time we ever see of them again. That's basically the only time they're ever mentioned and all we know about these heavenly beings is they have six wings six wings yeah and they worship god on the outside this may not seem like anything special but in reality there is more than meets the eye in this little passage first of all they have more wings than any other angelic being or heavenly being the cherub, another angel, basically, has been mentioned with four wings, and most other angels are usually depicted or thought to have two wings. The seraphim, on the other hand, have six, which may mean they perhaps have more power and a higher position than any other being, just by wing, wings alone, basically. And also, in most angelic hierarchies created in olden times, middle ages, and whatnot, the seraphim are usually placed as number one of all angelic beings, not only because they possess the most wings, it is also because they are in close proximity. They're very close to God. <laughs> um, this is not because, you know, um, well, basically it's not like this because they worship on top of the throne of God. They're hovering above the throne of God, and that's a super high place to be, I mean, you know. And this is super interesting because almost all beings created by God are either beside or around his throne, but these beings are above it flying while they give him praise, which is super mind-blowing in a sense because it's like, yeah, that's also another reason why they're placed so highly among people's minds, in, even in Jewish like folklore and whatnot, that the seraphim are usually the highest order of angel. And nowhere else in the Bible is this mentioned in the entire Bible. And that's what makes this a very interesting and awesome fact. And also their name is special because the seraphim, the word, translates to the burning ones. It is thought that since they worship in, in the direct presence of God, they are filled with his love. That leaves them in a burning state or a, a fiery state in a spiritual sense, you know. They're consumed, basically. And also because no being can directly look at God in the face and live, that is why they covered their eyes. Because like it says, at the passage we, we just read, that they have six wings, but they only use two of them to fly, while the other two they use for their feet, and the other two they use for their eyes. 
And like I said, that no being can directly look at God in the face and live. They cover their eyes not to be, so they don't be consumed by the glory of God. And on a side note, they cover their feet because in the Bible, feet are considered unclean and unworthy to show to God. Um, just, you know, the more you know. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, sorry that I don't have any more inf info on these guys. I mean, I could dwell in more, but it's not. it wouldn't be biblical information. It'd just be, like, random information that you can find on the internet. But, you know, basically, that's basically all we know about the Seraphim, is that they they may have the highest position in heaven, and that they're position in heaven already is super rare and honestly like outstanding you know <laughs> it's amazing and yeah that's all the info i could find on the seraphim i wish i could talk more about these majestic creatures i wish i knew more about them they, they kind of are a mystery in the bible but there are a lot of mysteries that'll be solved someday and so yeah guys i i hope you enjoyed this this was the first of my series basically my new series and I hope you learned something about the Seraphim, because I find them super fascinating creatures, and, you know, I hope you learned something. So yeah, guys, um, thank you so much for listening, and have a great rest of your day.